Hey, it's cool here if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the uh, regular long run, I was about to say extra, uh, where we were, uh, were and are, and will probably be for at least a little bit while, a little bit while longer. <laughs> My goodness, this is a busted intro. We're playing Thousand Year Door. That, that's the message I was trying to convey there. Um, if things look markedly better um, in the world here, it's probably because I have uh, increased the um, graphic settings. So hopefully I didn't increase them too much and end up causing some frame loss, but we can tweak as necessary. So last time, we kind of got exploded up to the moon where the x naughts base is, uh, and we know the last crystal star to be here, and we also know Princess Peach to be here, so let's go save both of them. I guess this is the elevator key. Dang. Nice. Not quite enough though. Oh, geez. I'm afraid you're not gonna get to use that uh, power boost. Also, I was way off on the time for that. Yes, for a very observant phone. So I'm going to need you to pipe down. Okay, it's really hard to time that because sometimes he'll do like a high jump and sometimes he'll just charge directly into me. And that's kind of hard to do. Also disables the security floors, allowing us to get this super shroom that I can't carry. No! No! Come on! There we go. Insert the elevator key. Hey, Ricky. Let's go to sub level one and see what's going on over here. Ah! Ah, it bounced! That hurt a little. Let's 
Go bombery. Mario's not doing too great. The number of coins, I'm guessing. Yep. Not that we especially need a large number of coins right now. Yep. I want to read that note. Gear is under repair. This looks, uh, Conspicuous. Let's come back to this, I guess. Uh, no. Nothing here. Hmm. That's a lot of them in a row, isn't it? to head bonk you. And the remaining two will die on this journey. Ow. And also leave Mario in danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. Well, that's a little less dangerous, but still not great. Um, that's not it. Okay, that's, there we go. See, now I could use that uh, super room from that box. Just enter the access code. I guess that's not it. Sure is. Alright, so there's nothing we can do on this one. to avoid getting uh, sneak attacked by one just to get sneak attacked by the other. Tattle. That's a next nice PhD. Guys like this invent all the annoying things we fight. Max HP is 9, attack is 4, and defense is 0. He likes to, to throw beakers of chemicals. The chemicals do all kinds of stuff like making things huge or burning people. Meals use potions to heal himself or make himself impossible to hit. Exxon PhDs are really annoying, so take them out before they boost themselves. Uh, not Ms. Mouse, actually. Let's put Bobby in front, because he has a beefy 40 HP. I'm not really sure if that was possible to block. Oh good.
And then you're going straight for Mario. Alright, cool. Are you kidding me? Well, Mario is in peril now. Um, I guess I haven't upgraded his mouse, so. Just gonna go ahead and use a uh, sweet beast. Much less danger now. Let's take care of you. I feel like Mario is going to prefer specifically going after, uh, rather, the the. Uh, Elite Xnot is specifically going to prefer going after Mario. Okay, it's on the wall there. Also, I can kind of see it in the tiles. Car key. Car key that opens a door in the Xmop base. Pikachu. There's going to be one of those jerks over on this end of the hallway. Come on, Mario. Okay, you're just kind of stuck in nowhere land. I'm gonna ignore you if I can. I don't know that that did anything. I don't think it did. Just A to stop the gauge after it passes over. Still a super shroom. Oh, now you're gonna be dodgy. You're going to heal the zero damage that I've done to you. I'm going to call upon Vivian. And immediately flub the input. Alright, despite being dodgy, we're able to get the professor down. No big one, unfortunately. Uh, 
Okay, let's do it and do it right. E, B, X, X, X. That was a lot easier. Okay, cannot hammer these guys. Um, I guess let us do... Take care of the stronger one first. Oh, I just noticed. We have a full crowd. 150 people. Listen to that applause. Yeah, it is, though. Ooh. Got my ability. Really? Well, I don't think this is where I meant- uh, this is where I was meant to go. Ah yes, dealing all that damage. Oh, this is when you should have healed, good sir, because you are about to get a trouncing. Not that you had the opportunity, mind you. Ooh. All right, I see. So we need to fall down that grade up there, so then we can use coops to get that gear and take it upstairs. What does this do? Throat The Exynos used that thing to come here from, from the moon. And so, we're not stuck on the moon. We can come back to Rogueport anytime. I 
honestly forgot that was a thing. Of course, me taking that uh, teleporter probably just respawned everything on this floor. lost an ideal, but I can get around that by doing this and finishing you off with Bobbery. If there's anything over here. There is another grade there. But I'm gonna keep that one for last. Now we're gonna switch to Coops. And get a comp. Yeah, the door over there is accessible, but let's access it from the grate and see what happens. You're mostly just gonna leave us to our own devices if we don't interact with you. I'm going to not interact with you and just do this. Oh, this is the changing room. Call back much? Let's take a look at our uh, pixelated pals here. Of course, the, the famous Goomba March. The, the jump noise. That's a shame. Dang. Ooh, that's dangerous. Switch to Coops and do a nope, power shot. Haha! Finally got one of you. If I want to use my um, my star power offensively or defensively, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and do sweet uh, sweet piece. Or maybe I should have switched to another uh, partner that had a bit of a uh, health deficit. Not too late now.
There we go. Back up to one point short of full health. Missed all of those. Cool. So right back down to 11 health. Um, that was just multi bounce. That should clear things out. At least I have the badge that makes it so that I can't get um, preemptive strike. That's an X yak. I hear this is read as cross yak, not as X yak. Anyway, this is a, a new yak uh, designed to protect extra important areas. They were designed to be unbeatable. They're not. Max HP is 10, attack is 3, and defense is 1. It can produce two mini cross yaks at once. And it has an excellent success rate of immobilizing opponents. We gotta do something about that if we're gonna win. Okay, so first let's go ahead and switch to uh, Or actually. Start with a spring jump. Well, that sucks, but uh, doesn't suck as much as it could. Right, we do lose that turn. Okay, that really sucks, actually. <laughs> Because I do want to identify the uh, the mini cross yaks, but I can't do that if my partner keeps getting immobilized. Knowing that you have to identify these separately. That's a mini cross yak. It lives to protect the main cross yak. Up to four can guard the cross yak. Max HP is one, attack is zero, and defense is zero. You can't attack the main unit until you clear these and then you pass out. So use multiple strikes attacks to take them out to take them out all at once. Like this. Except do it correctly. <laughs> Okay, so now that I've done that, let's go ahead and uh, fire agents. No bingo. But we can get this trick done. Uh, 
Ah, yes. The, uh, the so-called throne room. Well, I kind of skipped that, but, uh... Car key. Just a green car key rather than a reddish maroon purple one. Actually, there's Naz. Do you want to smell anything here? Do you smell anything over here? You do not. Okay. Figured I'd, uh, I'd make sure. This is a very good song. Uh, where was the teleporter? So I figure if the teleporter is right here. If it's right here, then we should probably just, uh, <laughs> use the end since we have that in coupon anyway and uh that would liberate a uh an inventory space and allow us to restore for free because we definitely need to save money right now How are we doing on Shine Sprites? We have two of them, so... No upgrades for us right now. I slept, uh, I slept, that's for, that's for darn sure. into space we go. Before I was able to um, to tag the um, the command thing. to do but uh, it missed anyway so oh well really
There we go. And I think that's going to be just enough for a level up. Because that is going to be 12 star points plus 88 is 100. So what are we leveling up, guys? And as far as I know, it's just tricky, so if I hear from you, I will take that, uh, that suggestion. But 30 HP, 30 FP, and 33 BP. I think in most cases that's gonna be that's going to tend to be enough HP and FP. I wish I had something a little bit more handy to uh, keep track of seconds. Anyway, I'll go for another 15 seconds. After that, I will make a decision for myself. No answer. I'm taking DP. That's up on the partner. I might hold on to these. We'll see if we do anything with them later on. I didn't want level one, I wanted sub level one. <laughs> Oh, wow, that was actually, I was actually strong enough to just dismiss that fight. Anyway, let's put this cog in. Huh? What do we got? We got uh, a couple of badges. We got a star piece. We got Ms. Mouse going crazy over here. for as long as you hold down A, and the crane will move backward for as long as you hold down B. Use the crane well to get the stuff you want. Yep, I just barely got it. And, uh, Unfortunately, it's not going to be like, um, it's not going to be like in Kirby, where if you just barely get it, it can still kind of wiggle out. Anyway, feeling fine partner makes your partner immune to poison or dizziness.
and regular really fine. With Mario immune to poison and dizziness. And finally, let's get that star piece. Now I gotta bother with the coins. We have more than enough coins right now. I like how the star piece made a distinctly different noise. Aha! You activated my trap card. Shell, and I'll take care of almost all of them. And then finish you off with a regular jump. Ah, yes, we need an access code for this. So we do not need a card, we need a code. So where do we use this card? I think there might have been something on level 1 actually. That was locked. I was hoping I was strong enough actually for that. Uh, for that one, but I guess not. Oh dear. Okay, I thought you were going to use that item. I mean, that's not much better, mind you. But still, no worries. Yeah, I think I'm going to actually try level one. I'm pretty sure I saw a door lit up the red. I got the jump in at least. Uh, no, no. Oh. I don't think so, buddy. Let's use this Thunder Rage. Oh, my Power Shell. However, you're going to immobilize us, and that's not going to be great.
And I I was kind of betting that I was gonna get another Thunder Rage, and that's exactly what happened. I'm actually gonna grab that Super Shroom though. I thought there was a red door here. Was there a red door on sub level one? Oh my goodness, I am lost. And there really isn't that many options right now. Okay, there is this door, but again, we need a passcode for that. And that's the crane room. I we need an elevator key for that. Oh, there are four of you. Um, I just, I just realized you can hear the, uh, the, the, I guess the rumbling in the crowd. Takes care of two of them. You're going to power up. quiet at the end there. Also I know that I'm full on coins. I'm still going to get coins. No oh, really, where where do I use these car keys? Huh. Okay, I have another idea. We're gonna go back to level one. I doubt this is the answer. Okay, I don't know why I am so stuck right now. Like, this is not a puzzle. This is just go to where there was a locked door and open the door. So what am I missing? Is it inside one of the rooms that I have to use this? Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm gonna check inside every room and see if there's anything here. Just the um, the portal back to Rogueport. Is it up here somewhere? That's the dressing room. That's the uh, potion room. No, that's the portal room. That's the potion room. Nothing here. for that. Yep. Oh zero one four zero two nine. Okay, that's my fault for not checking everything. Zero one four zero Go back to sub level one zero one four zero two nine. So why does this keyboard have a full, um, yeah, alphanumeric keyboard if you only need the numbers? There we go. Oh no. Who are you, huh? You came here to get the elevator key so you can access the computer room? Yeah, I thought so. Well, you're gonna have to beat me to get it. And if you lose, your life is mine, you hear me? Mine. So what do you say? Okay, fine. <laughs> you're mine now. Here we go. And here we go, folks! The main event! The 66th Annual Quark Quiz! Yeah! If you get five correct answers to the following questions, then you win, win, win! But if you get just three wrong answers, you're toast! You don't want to be toast, folks! Well, what are we waiting for, huh? Here we go! Question number one. Exactly what's hitting you? Right immediately here, and that'll be an elevator key. Yeah, you're correct! Crud! But that was an easy one. You won't do so well on the next one, I guarantee you that. Here you go, sucker. Now question number two. What's the name of the girl in Pendleburg who's patiently waiting for Coops' return? And we name we met a lot of girls. In our in our travels, I'm pretty sure we've. That's not a girl. It's Koopy Koo. And so the same thing. 
Goomba, Lava Ball, Fuzzy Beetle, and Boo. How many feet do they have? Total. 4 feet, 6 feet, 8 feet, or D feet. So Goomba has 2, Lava Bubble has none, Fuzzy Beetle has 4, uh, 4 total is 6, and Boo doesn't have any 6 feet. Time to question four. It's all entered for non-idiots. Where, where was the one? The only diamond star. Ah, uh, the diamond star. Oh. It wasn't Glitzville Arena. It wasn't Hooktail's Belly. That was Ruby One. Posh, I don't think it was Poshy Sanctum. Must have been Cortez's ship. No. <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong. You're dumber than young. Remember, three strikes and you're out, loser. <laughs> Here's the next one. And now, question five. What was the name of the very first champion at the Blissville Arena? Uh, that would have been Prince Hush. You're correct, you jerk. You've already gotten four correct? You're kidding me. Well, fine. I'm gonna toss an extra hard one your way. Happy now, sucker? Now for question six. And I'm going to purposely get the next two questions wrong. But I am going to make a safe state so we don't have to go through all of them. What if Francesca and Franklin from Rogueport lose on Kiyohaki? Definitely their blame. I am so very foolish! So wrong it hurts me! One more slip and you're done for, Junior Nerd. Just one more. <laughs> Here we go. Here's our last question. What number question is this? Question number five. Huh? <laughs> wrong! You got three wrong answers. Oh, that was a little rough. <laughs> Time for the punishment round, Mr. Wrong. Win this fight and I'll give you the, ele key, uh, the, the elevator key anyway, but what are the chances? Listen, you have no chance, but do your best because it amuses me. <laughs> Can't see this fight. So let's go ahead and switch to Vivian, go for Fire Jinx. And then spin jump on this one here. Oh, great. Here we go. Let's switch out so we have a chance to maybe attack next turn. For now, let's maintain crowd control. There we go. The regular block does Oh, can't select that, okay. Alright, uh, let's go instead with Flurry. Perfect. Some punishment. Thanks for the 10 star points. No! No! You beat my cute little underlings! How could you? Arr! Jerk! Just take this and go! 
And if you ever wonder, know that I hate you! to go back up to the uh, level one so we can save and uh, use that uh, end block. I'm not too worried about economizing right now, for obvious reasons. Down the second elevator we go. For the sub level three. That elevator definitely smells like peach has been there. Don't ask how I would know that. Oh good. Oh jeez. Okay, so we got kind of a Yoku Blocks thing going on here. You always want to stay in the middle of this, and there's a very specific reason why. kind of bounce there at the end. Alright, we got another car key. Before I touch any of those buttons, I'm going to go back to sub-level 2. I think this is the dressing room. There's a note here. Left, right, middle. I have to make sure that uh, I think that's meant for the uh, for the crane game. But uh, it might work here too. So let's give it a try. Left, right, no. Okay, so this is where the car keys go, actually. It's a high security place here. Did 
Dang it. I was trying to jump on him and I jumped kind of next to him instead. Making it real easy to get the jump on me. should all die in uh, the next turn. Wow, got both of them. Didn't get that one though. You're gonna make yourself dodgy, but I don't think you can dodge fire. They've had to take one for the team, but uh, their team all died, so it's fine. Go in here. I don't think there's any reason to do that right now. Oh, I know. Bobbery. Yeah, that's exactly what I needed to do. And then Vivian. That's not used enough in this game, I think. So there's another car key there. That was a good old Mario style platform. Go. I'll get on that pipe. Actually, I think it might be an exit pipe because if you look in the background there, it was kind of a pipe. All the way down low, right under me right now. That's an ultra shroom. I think I can toss a super shroom for an ultra shroom. Dang it! I may I may have drawn quicker, but unfortunately they got the shot off. get immobilized. Fascinating. Although these guys don't have as high of a chance of that happening, so stands to reason. Um, I pressed the wrong button there, but it doesn't matter. We got it done. And we're getting double the number of coins. Those coins that we so sorely need right now. The 
so we need to get that card key. That puts us out there. Basically, what I'm getting, uh, what I'm getting uh, from all of this is, this let us get to that save point, but we're not actually going to be able to. Farther than that. There's some platforms up there though. Can't help but wonder if. Yep. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but that worked. Ooh, that's fancy. the card key though. There's a pipe right under us here. I don't know if this is where I need to go. I get the distinct feeling that no, this is not where I need to go. Can indeed stand on that gear. So now we're gonna pop us out here. I think I saw this. It sh should take us straight to that card. For good measure, let's save again. Car key to open the store and see what's inside. Oh. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Oh man, have I been waiting? And I hate waiting. Crump! You didn't mean for us? What does that mean? <laughs> I'll tell you what it, well, I'll tell you what it means. I used to crystal star to lure you here. So that I could take all of your crystal stars. How brilliant is that, huh? I want to know the best part. Your little Peach girl isn't even here anymore. So Peach was here. Where'd you take her, Crumb? <laughs> like I tell you, the plan that's not as villain style. No, I'm not gonna be doing anything like that. Sorry, really, guys. So, ready for show time? You guys are going to be the perfect workout for Magnus Von Grapple 2.0. I know it's 2.0 because it has a big 2 on its chest, you see. 
I hope you're up to the challenge, because this thing is raw horsepower, kitties. <laughs> yeah, that was the first one we're so buggy, so we made improvements. One, two, a dozen. Get ready for a whole new win experience pain, you junior varsity losers. You're the one who's gonna suffer, Crump. No matter how, to, no matter how many times we have to do this. Uh, so let's start with Goombella and Tato. Ah, Magnus Von Grapple 2.0, the upgraded version of Magnus Von Grapple. Max HP is 70, attack is 6, and defense is 2. His basic attack is a drill move that drops from above. It also sometimes releases his fish for, his, his fist for crying, uh, crying? For flying cross punches. Each cross punch has a max HP of 5, an attack of 9, and a, and a defense of 0. When those fists are flying, you may get attacked by those fists and body in one turn. Take care of those low, low HP fists early on, trust me. When the body's HP gets low, we'll also fire machine guns and also who knows what else. It may not look too different from the last version, but it's much stronger, so be careful. I, think this, I still think this whole design is a little ridiculous, though. Alright, 70 HP. Here goes nothing. Um, let's start with the uh, power spell. Here comes, suckers! Mind this drill attack! Wow. Ah, uh, a, a little early there. Time to unleash some of the some of the sweet special features on this bad boy. Oh man, this is gonna be so good. I got some for that. Skull's heart attack. as we can to the body, which was a fair amount. Let's try hold fast. Or not. What the heck is that? Oh, that was an indirect attack and therefore did not uh, counter. Alright, well that was a waste of flower points. should be a little puzzle of nothing by now. Oh well. Still got some tricks up my sleeve. Can you please not mess with my audience? Eat this! Oh good. Alright, well, fortunately we have life shrimps. 
Who's gonna fire my audience at me? That's extremely rude to everyone involved. <sighs> That's also rude. Super true on Mario. I think as far as raw damage. Is probably one of the better partners. But I did want to get that fire in. Hurting the most right now. It's definitely bothering. I think I have enough. Uh, yep, I have enough social points for a seat boost. messing with my audience, sir. I blocked some of those. My sweet powered up robots on the ropes! This is wrong! Yeah, it sure is. What you got, buddy? What you got? Oh. We went to resort to launching my audience at me. Defend against a lot of those. But it's time to finish you off. We go thirty one star points. Looks like we found 
You got the final crystal star. Your star power is now eight, and Mario can now use the special move Supernova. End of chapter. The last crystal star had been hidden in the X knot hide uh, cross knot hideout. X knot cross knot. I don't. I don't even know anymore. On the moon. But by the time Mario recovered, uh, recovered it, Peach had already been taken away. Where could Peach be now? In one of the elusive Grotus, perhaps he holds the key to the remaining puzzle. Mario finally has all seven crystal stars. Where will they lead him next? So I wasn't expecting that to actually be the boss. Uh, so we're probably not going to get a Peach cutscene this time. And we're gonna go straight to Bowser. Well, we're here. Now where's the stupid Poshly Sanctum? Crystal Star is there, right? So they say your Peacherness, and lo and behold, there it is now, right behind you. Great. About time something worked out for old Bowser. In we go. Locked. It won't budge. Darn it! The lock broke. Oh baby! Awesome. It opened. Talk to, talk about lucky. I guess rage really pays. Of course, we all know how this is gonna go. Yes, this is it, Haggy. This is finally it. <laughs> <laughs> At last, I've got my mitts on a crystal star! Yes! Impressive work, Lord Bowser! You're the absolute best star getting guy! You there! I have you now, villains! You are common thieves, aren't you? Aren't you? My eyes never deceive! What are you implying? I'm no little thief. I'm... <laughs> I'm the great Koopa Koop. I'm taking this. Mess with me and I'll bore you to death. <laughs> I see. Unfortunately for you, that's a red herring. It's a fake. If you want it, it's yours. But what? A fake? But look at this fancy display! The pedestal and everything! It's so posh! If it's a fake, then what's a real one, huh? If you must know, I gave the real one to Luigi. <laughs> you have gotta be kidding me. You mean to tell me that Luigi beat me here? Urgh! Those Mario brothers are the most annoying brothers of all time! Hmm, how bothersome. The fact that we keep being outmaneuvered is disturbing. But where in the world could Mario and his brother be heading? Where? Lord Bowser! <laughs> ah, Paragoomba! What are you so worked up over, hmm? Help tell me! Now reporting, sir! And, uh, ma'am, sir and ma'am! Mario's collected the seven crystal stars in his head for the thousand year door! The uh, what? The thousand year door? What in the heck is that? The Thousand Year Door! An unbelievably legendary treasure is behind that door! Yeah! I'm going there too! Immediately! I'm gonna ruin Mario! Will you now? Luigi, well done, lad. Would you not fail? Yet. And yeah, seeing as we don't know where Peach is anymore, we're not going to be checking it out. In fact, to do so would probably be a bit of a spoiler. So 
back here. We finally got all seven crystal stars, Corkin. Now I can open the thousand year door. Ah, yes, but I still don't know where Princess Peach is. Well, let's head back to Roport, eh, old boy? Perhaps Professor Franklin can help us find our dear Princess Peach. Hmm? Uh, we did actually take a look at uh, level 4 here. So let's do that before we head back to Rockport. So this is the room where Tech was, I think. Where are we now? Is pleasant to me. I am the main computer of this fortress. I am. Back. I must tell you something. That is why I brought you to this place, Princess Be Peach. I am so s sorry. Most of my data was er erased, and my main power was that my main power unit was shut down. Now running on backup power with only current memory trying to stay out of Mario, you know that Princess Peach is not here, do you not? Please save Peach. Princess Peach here with in the palace of Shadow, I had to tell you that. But Parker Powell merely will use the teleporter to get back. World Board. The teleporter room is on sub level 2 of the fortress. I will release the room. Peach is in the Palace of Shadow. Please hurry. There is barely enough power left to activate the teleport. I will seize all AI functions to set power to the teleporter. But what will happen to you? When the power is all gone, Cease to exist as an artificial consciousness. But if it will, say Peach, but we do this. Because until I met Peach, I knew nothing of all. Do not worry about me. I am just a complete. Mario, you must save Peach. I ask you, please, and tell her We will talk. So, hurry to the teleporter. Oh, now, Mario. Tech system failure reported. Mario, we must save the princess, but that tech fellow is as well as ourselves. Oh, yeah. There's nothing else here. I wonder if there's anything here.
I feel like putting anything around here, though, is going to inevitably be missable. So that's probably why there are no, like, real treasures here. to report we go. <laughs> Apparently the entire base exploded. <laughs> no one said it. no one said anything about the base exploding. If it isn't Mario. Over here, son! You brought the crystal star back from the moon with you, didn't you? What? Talking to my good ear. The, the Extant Fortress was on the moon? Ah, yes. So Princess Peach was there too, I assume. She was, yes. But the Extant Boss took her and they and went to. <laughs> but the Extant Boss took her and went to the Thousand Year Door. Aha! Just a bit ago, I smelled some rank air and went through the thousand year door. I saw a suspicious fellow in a cape go through the door with Princess Peach. Excuse me? Without the crystal. Uh, without, without the seven crystal star, that door should never have opened. Believe me, I know, but I'm quite certain of it. I saw it with my own eyes. I have a very bad feeling about this. Very bad. Princess Peach is in danger. Time is short. We must go through th the, to the Thousand Year Door and rescue the princess. I'll run ahead and meet you there. Don't doll, you must come immediately. Um. Sorry to tell you, buddy. We're gonna be a little bit. and she turn around though. Okay. It's getting agitated. There we go. It still is something. I see like a box there. How do I get over there? Hmm.
Maybe there's like a hidden block somewhere? But she's turning around here. So there's something over this way. Possibly in here. Definitely in here. Almost at it. Oh, I see. Very subtle hint there. There's a pipe right here. That gives us a third shine sprite. Is there anything else in this room? There is not. a chest right there. There's a cracked wall there. So if we can get up here. Bring out Bobbery. And blast through this wall. And get this defenseless partner. Boost your allies defense by one. If we can go over this way with this fight too. Maybe there's like a secret room over here. Come to think of it, have we ever been in that house? I don't think we have. This was just barely out of reach before. It, even if it looks like you can, you can't. Okay, so um, we have obtained the final crystal star. We have all seven of them now. Um, does it say anywhere here? Yes, we have all 
all seven crystal star and the diamond the diamond star was indeed in Hooktail's belly. I, I thought it was the ruby star, but that's the one we got from Duplus. Anyway, we have all of them now, which means that we can open the Thousand Year Door, except that apparently it's already open. Uh, so we need to actually... Also, that's, when, that's the actual crystal crystal star. I was just wondering. Um, but yeah, so we need to actually go through to the Thousand Year Door and see what lies beyond. But, um... Before we do anything resembling that, we're gonna go ahead and take a break. And also, I forgot to turn some things off on the break screen. So I'm gonna do that right now. Uh, and turn that off. There we go. Oh yeah, and turn this off too. And turn this off too. Dang it, someday I will get this right. Anyway, uh, y'all can uh, take a break, go to get some to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth, and in about 10 to 15 minutes we will um, keep on going with this silly crazy game. So I'll see you in a bit and I will uh, hydrate as soon as I go on break. Thank you Madison and also hello.